our next problem is that we are having a pressure vessel like this one our design pressure is 555 psi we are having the inside diameter 58 inches and our nominal thickness or original thickness or as in here indicated uh, our initial thickness is 1.125 inches and our allowable stress you 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 know what's the allowable stress from the ACM section 8 division 1 is 20,000 psi our joint efficiency is uh, 0.85 and you know that's probably so the our pressure vessel is spot radiography we're talking about the shell so is the spot radiography and spot radiography we get the joint efficiency 0.85 corrosion allowance of 1 8 inch and metal loss at a certain point on the this pressure vessel away from the weld not at the adjacent to the weld far almost here says four inch from the weld seam four inch from the weld seam somewhere in here not close to the weld seam is uh 316 inch so we measured at that point we are having the internal corrosion from the inside of the pressure vessel when we put the probe at this point we are uh, we are we having the initial thickness and when we're uh, we're calculating what we measured we can calculate what's the, our metal loss in here our metal loss is 316 inch in here the pressure vessel been in service for 10 years no corrosion observed in a weld so we made internal inspection we've been inside of the pressure vessel we looked at uh, all the surface inside uh, of the pressure vessel and we didn't uh, see any corrosion on weld seams so that's here indicated and then the question is in here is safe for operation with this condition so we're going to solve this problem to see if we can operate this pressure vessel with the, this condition first things you have to do you have to calculate the minimum thickness uh, minimum thickness is required to resist against the uh, you know the uh, the the hoop stress you, you remember that circumferential stress we had this from the section 8 division 1 so I'm writing the formula in here you can see the 555 multiply to the 29.125 if you remember this is the ID we have to put here radius and we have to add the corrosion allowance to this this is a subject of the ASME section 8 division 1 and, and you know why we are doing this you can review back the ACM section 8 division 1 and we are putting your 20,000 psi and instead of putting the 0 0.85 I am putting here 0 0.1 uh, this is the this is the a kind of a concession that's the API 510 gives us uh, in one of the clauses says if the corrosion patch or the area that's subjected to the corrosion is away from weld and uh, by you know uh, more than one inch or two times all the thickness whichever is greater then you can consider joint efficiency as a one if the joint efficiency is something less than one uh, because why we said spot radiography we consider joint efficiency 0.85 and you know we put the 0.85 in here we're getting the higher thickness because these are in a different side and different uh, opposite relationship you get the you know uh, you make here bigger this is going to be smaller or you make here less they're going to get the bigger thickness in here so that's why this 0.85 that we considered for a joint efficiency actually was because of the weld not because of the uh, you know a, a regular surface so since the corrosion happened in the surface and not in the weld we are going to consider that as a want to use these uh, you know what's uh, we can say whatever you can name it a concession you can name it a bonus that API 510 provided to us when there's a corrosion happening on the surface away from the weld seams so we put the one in here instead of the 0.85 because corrosion didn't happen in the weld area is is away from the weld area you can say it's four inch from the weld seam and then uh, this concession and then what I said 
This bonus is coming from the API 510 7.4.5 to use 1 instead of 0.85. Now uh, we calculate in here and minimum thickness the product of this calculation is going to be 0.821 inches. This is the minimum thickness that we uh, we calculated for our shell. Now we are calculating the remaining thickness. You remember I said we made a measurement at the certain point and uh, which the nominal thickness as you can see here was 1.125 and we considered uh, the given the, the, the question uh, says to us that the metal loss was 316 inch. I need to calculate to see what's the remaining thickness at the corrosion area and the remaining thickness 1.125 minus 1.875 this is a same value of a 316 inch so my remaining thickness at this point is 0.9375 inch so my thickness at the corroded area which is the internal corrosion I'm considering and at this point is this value and I calculated the minimum thickness is 0.821 inches. So my current thickness or actual thickness is greater than minimum thickness. So it is safe to work. And I use this concession that this gives me using the one comes from the API 510 clause number 7.4.5. Now consider for a moment that we didn't have uh, this chance to use this clause and what would have happened to us. Uh, so I'm going to go and uh, make a, a different calculation in here. But before going to the calculation without considering this, let, let's calculate what's the remaining life in here. Remaining life based on the formula in the API 510 says T actual. The current, the current thickness, which is, is this value, minus T minimum, which is this value, to the corrosion rate, this formula gives us the remaining life. So our remaining life, so we have to first calculate corrosion rate to be able to calculate the remaining life. The corrosion rate, you know, T actual minus, uh, you know, uh, minus the previous thickness or the, the you know then uh, sorry the nominal thickness or the t previous minus the uh, the current thickness and then divided by the year between is going to give us the corrosion rate so we had the in the first day it's gone to the operation our thickness was 1.125 inches minus 9375 which is the current thickness actual thickness and this happened in the 10 years. In the 10 years, the thickness from this gone to the this. So my corrosion rate is 0 0.0187 inch per year. If I multiply this to the 1000, I'm going to get 18.75 uh, mils per year or MPY. So uh, this about our corrosion rate. Now let's calculate the remaining life. We didn't have this, so we calculated this. Now the actual, this value today, minus T minimum. And you can see uh, here, 0.821. And divided by the corrosion rate that we calculated from here, we get the 6.23 years as remaining life. So it means this pressure vessel, actually, if there is a patch in here with this value might be, can be repaired by an insert patch or might be uh, considered by the pressure vessel engineers or the, 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 the company that is owner and user to make some re-rating on this pressure vessel with the reducing the design pressure and other stuff. But by the way, if the design condition is the same, uh, the same things that indicated in here, this needs to be repaired or replaced in a 6.23 years. Now consider for a moment, you wouldn't have used 
this bonus that's API 510 at the 7.45 gave us to use the joint efficiency one instead of 0.85. I'm going to calculate the same formula that we are having in here uh, again with the joint efficiency 0.85. I'm considering we didn't have this concession or this bonus in here. You can see I, my minimum thickness is going to be 0.969 inch and then our actual thickness, two-day thickness, the current uh, actual thickness is not greater than minimum thickness. So this is not a safe operation. This should be immediately go to the rate of and shut down. And uh, I calculated the remaining life with this condition. You can see my remaining life came negative. Our corrosion rate is going to be the same. And you can see my minimum thickness without this is the new value. And the, our actual thickness is the same. And I'm getting the minus 1.68 years, which is a negative value. Uh